Amen. 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 Amen.
On Palm Sunday, Virginia, there was two parades that was taking place. One, the emperor was coming out um, on one end, and Jesus was coming out on the other. And Jesus, here he is, um, the ancient prophets of Israel said that God will one day come and save his people and rule the world. A king will ride into Jerusalem to bring peace and justice was predicted by the prophets. By riding in on a donkey, Jesus activates all of these hopes that he is the king. Amen. But watch this, you all. Jerusalem leaders and people was looking for a warrior messiah to defeat their political foes. But Jesus is coming not to overthrow the government, but he's coming to overthrow the kingdom of darkness. Yes. They were looking for this king to come in and to rid of our physical oppression, but Jesus was coming to rid them of their spiritual oppression. Amen. Amen. Jesus' triumphal entry depicts his arrival in a city, watch you all, full of oppression and opposition. Church folks' family was looking to kill him because he already done threw over their system that they have put in place traditionally. Jesus' family, watch this, he uh, wasn't paying attention then to all the worshipers putting their robes out and all the clothes out and palm branches and, and all of that. Family, here it is. This is not in my notes, but a good place to put it. We have to be careful uh, when we start waving palm branches on Palm Sunday. Because, listen, when we wave palm branches on Palm Sunday, we're saying we're part of the crowd, but we're not part of Christ. Mm. Because here they were, they were waving palm branches um, on here on Palm Sunday. But all oh, come Good Friday. <laughs> the same ones that were um, waving palm branches now laid their palm branches down. Let's pick up some stones mm. and kill the one mm -hmm. who has come in on this donkey. Can't you see Jesus? Uh, can't you see him? He's hearing all of these praises and he's seeing them lay out all these branches and clothes and everybody's having a good old time, Jackie Scott. But here it is, Jesus is saying, y'all just don't know what's about to go down. Jesus is riding on this beast of burden with tears in his eyes. Family, there's two times that Jesus weeps in the Bible. One is when he's at the tomb of his friend Lazarus. But now, here it is, um, Jackie Jones, he, this type of weeping is not a silent weeping, Mr. Perkins. This man, Jesus, is riding on his donkey and wailing loudly with tears coming down his eyes because he's looking and all this that's going on, all this pageantry, all this celebration and all of that, guess what you all? It was just a phony front. Mm -hmm. Because they cried out, Hosanna, watch this, save us now. Here they hear what they were saying. Uh, save us from our physical oppression. But we don't want you to touch our spiritual oppression. We want you to come and overthrow Rome, but Jesus said, I'm coming to save your soul. Hallelujah. Thank what you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Family, what they needed, they didn't want it. <laughs> here they were, they were saying, listen, you need to do something about this um, oppression that we're going through right here with Rome. Jesus said, I'm about to do something better. I'm about to give you me. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And now Jesus is weeping. And he has some tea. He's crying at the parade, Ernie. Now, y'all know, growing up, um, going to the parade, book looking and all that, you know, um, you rarely see somebody crying or children crying unless there's something going on. But Jesus is crying. He's weeping. He's wailing. Here it is, family. I got some points for you. I know you asked the question, well, Pastor, why was Jesus weeping? Why was he crying? Can I bring some witnesses in? Can y'all come into this sermon? How many of us have cried before? Amen. Oh, yeah. um, yeah. I mean, just shed some tears. And some of us probably still crying. You understand? Um, yeah, and here Jesus, he is uh, weeping. Our Lord and Savior 
is weeping. Family, first point I want to lift to us, Jesus wept due to shallow praises. Mm -hmm. Jesus wept due to shallow praises, verse 41. Now as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it. Here it is, family. The ones praising Jesus as he entered was the same ones in a few days who will be crying, crucify him. Mm -hmm. And as he stopped, Jesus looked down upon the magnificent temple and seeing all the praisers, he was able to see, well, why this, you all? He looked right through that and saw that they were some phony praisers. Mm. No wonder Jesus wept. Listen, family, we have to be careful not to be shallow praisers. Perhaps you're Amen. asking the question, I hear you. Pastor, uh, what is a shallow praiser? Here it is. We only, those are the persons who only praise God for what they expect when him they to do, and when he doesn't do that, then they turn around and find an excuse as to not to worship and praise him. All right now. Shallow Praises, shallow praises are the praises who look God right in the face, Mr. Perkins, and say, you better do what I tell you to do and don't do nothing else. Because if you do something else, then I'm going to quit going to church, close my Bible, and walk away. And listen, those people are foolish because if you don't close your mouth, he'll close it for you. Uh, family, we are not to be shallow. Praises yeah, because can yeah, I tell y'all yeah. something? Um, I know y'all used to this, but can I tell y'all something? He don't have to do nothing. That's right. For us. That's right. That's right. Can I tell you? He don't have to do man another thing for us. But when he do something, we are to praise him regardless if it be the expectation or not. Amen. Uh, Amen. Family, God don't work for us. We work for Him. That's right. That's right. That you ought to be glad. You, you, yeah, we ought to be glad that God don't work for us. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, because in some in some instances God will be fired. Uh, yeah, because God, you didn't do what I told you to do. No, 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 no. Family, He does not have to bless us according to our expectations, but bless us according to His will. Amen. Amen. Listen, family, his will may not feel good, but it is good for you. That's right. Mm, yeah, how many of us can go ahead and say, Pastor, you sure enough, right? Uh, when you ask the Lord, Lord, I need this, and then he comes, he takes it, and he gives us his will. We're like, ooh, we, Lord, I didn't ask for this, but um, I'll take it. But then how many of us would agree that it's years later we figured out, like, oh, wow, yeah, that's why you gave me that, because if you gave me what I asked you for, I would have been, woo, proud. Amen. I wouldn't even came, I wouldn't even came by church. Listen, family, he has to give us certain things to keep us grounded and keep us humble. Amen. Amen. Okay. Right. okay, I'm in right now. Because listen, family, um, he has to watch this, put us in a broken place so that we can depend on the one who make us whole. Amen. Okay. Amen. Yeah. He, he, he has to break us. He has to mold us and keep us on the level ground because he understands if I give you what you ask for, you really don't want this because you're going to get, watch this, swollen in the head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, I said to keep you coming back to me, I'll keep, here, here it is, Mr. Perkins, I'll keep giving you some crumbs of my wheel. <laughs> so that you can have to depend on me who is the whole loaf. <laughs> yeah, I give you a piece of me so that you can come back to me and get some more. Amen. Now, how many of us are glad that, listen, I ain't gonna be no shallow praiser. No, Lord, listen, anyway you bless me. Hallelujah. I'll be satisfied. Glory That's right. Amen. 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 Anyway. Well, here it is, family. Yeah. When that anyway blessing comes, don't you catch an attitude because you agreed to it. Uh, anyway you bless me. Hallelujah. I'll be satisfied. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Yes.
can I go deeper since I'm in this pool? Can I go deeper? Oh yeah. The crowd was shouting, Virginia, Hosanna, which means save us now. But here it is. They were saying, Jesus, I want you to meet my expectation to save me now. But watch this thing there. He said, I'm going to save you now, but the saving of you now will be by me, which is necessary. Amen. 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 Their prayer, Lady Q, was shouting because they said, Jesus, we want a right now blessing. And Jesus said, I'm going to give you a blessing of eternity that will help you right now and later. Now and later. Oh, uh, Jackie and John, Bob and Mike, sweet too. Yeah, we all thank God for some now and later blessings. I take some now, and I'm going to store some for later. And oh, we don't let them booger bears get cold. Woo! Yeah, I can just enjoy them a little while longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you uh, for bringing that flashback, Jackie Jones. Thank you for participating in the sermon and almost made me move off track. But here I am. I'm back. Here it is. Jesus uh, was saying, I'm coming to save you. Watch this, Leah. I'm coming to save you forever. But you want a temporary, <laughs> you want a temporary fix. Come here, family. Come here, come here, come here. We got to stop asking Jesus for a temporary fix. Uh, Lord, if you just get me up out of this. And then as soon as he get us up out of it, we go back to the same thing but a different address. Woo. He's, he's weeping, you all, because these people got these problem practices. This person laying out there, they just not, I mean, these emotional praises. Y'all see some of in the church uh -huh. will pass out when the music is going. Uh -huh. But then they got to carry them out when the sermon is going. Uh -huh. And then when they come to and they wonder why they got so many problems, because watch this, we carried you out at the wrong time. Uh -huh. Yeah, let them pass out. Don't carry them out. They need to hear this word. When they wake up, they're going to hear me preach. Amen. 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 He was saying that they were shallow. They, he looked right through them. And he said, no, I know what y'all know. Yeah, y'all just want me for my miracles and not for my message. Ooh, All right now. You just want me for what I can do for you, but you don't want me. Ooh, come on, <laughs> this Reed. shallow praise, I'll take the blessing, but watch this, don't break me. I'll take the anointing, but don't give me no agony. Hmm. These shallow praises, <laughs> they, they didn't have no roots at all. No. Because guess what? Come Good Friday, they were like, oh, give us Barabbas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give us, give, give us, we, we'll take the smooth criminal. Give us Barabbas. <laughs> and yeah, we, we go and crucify Jesus. We, we'll take, we'll take the criminal. Yeah, we'll take the one, yeah, who make America great again. But here he is. We'll take him. But we don't want, we don't want Jesus. We, we'll take the policy that will further um, oppress us and sign off on it because it won't affect us, but it affect everybody else who's not our color. Yeah, we want Barabbas. I felt my social justice kicked in. Why did I do that? Um, we want Barabbas. But you take Jesus. These are the same ones, y'all. Um, you got to be careful about the people who will celebrate you in the crowd. Because the same people that will celebrate you, Malia, with the same people who will hand over the nails, crucify him. <laughs> All right, that's the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You got to be careful. Um, because you may have some crucifixion folks in your crew. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, they, they waiting. <laughs> Yeah, we celebrate you now, but we're, we're waiting to sign your death certificate. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Family, these shallow praises, family, that's why they was able to turn against Jesus so quick because they were not rooted. And I come to discover, Antoinette, that's why some people leave church because they surface. I don't want no roots because, guess, guess what, y'all? Since it's spring, I don't want no roots because roots require something to get broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, something right. got to go deep. In order for something to go deep, it got to be broken up mm -hmm. for 
for it to take root. All right. Ah, family. Watch this. He, he wept due to shadow praises. Thank you. Second point. He wept due to their blindness to the path of peace. He wept. Jesus wept due to their blindness to their path, to the path of peace. Verse 42. Y'all ready for this? Saying, Christ says, if you had known in this day, even you, the things which makes for peace, but now they have been hidden from your eyes. Now watch this, family. Uh, you all confirm my sermon in Sunday school. I was just doing my best not to run through the wall and interrupt the second service over there. Here it is. Um, watch this, family. Despite the fact, here it is. The people believe that Jesus will bring in peace through violence. Uh -huh. right. They were unable to comprehend how he was going to bring peace without the help of violence. Here it is, family. Jesus is saying, you all want me uh, to come and bring peace according to governmental standards. But I'm coming to give you peace according to God's standards. Family, can I help us right here? Uh, we cannot, watch this, expect for a human government to bring about peace. But what we can do is pray to the Lord to bring peace Amen. when he wants peace to Amen. come. Family, here it is. Uh, think there, I come to discover that Peace supersedes policy. Mm -hmm. Peace is a personal possession in which we have. Mm -hmm. But watch this, well, when we ask the Lord to give us peace, when the whole world is going crazy and violent, we're able to respond to that because of the peace that we have within mm -hmm. us. Oh. Family, can I tell you something? Shalom is within us. Amen. Who can I tell y'all something else? The Prince of Peace resides in us. How many of y'all glad to know the Prince of Peace? Hallelujah. Who will give you peace? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Jesus came to bring peace forever. But watch this, you all. They missed it. Um, they missed it. They, they were looking for Jesus. We want you to establish peace in a governmental way, and Jesus saying, government's going to fade, but one thing for sure that it will not fade is me. Amen. I will stand forever. Amen. Thank um, you, you're my notes. Uh, the government rests on God's shoulder. Because watch this, you all. If we're looking for people to bring about a peace that they did not purchase, we're going to have problems. Well, now. If we're looking for people to bring about peace that they did not purchase, we will have problems. That's right. So then that's why some people get all bent out of shape when policies is passed and, and all of that. Like, Lord, what are we going to do? The Lord yeah. said, depend on me, shalom, shalom. That's right. Peace, peace. Bring up peace. Trust in me. Because watch this. If you trust in the Prince of Peace, let him take care of the policies. And he will do just Amen. that. Amen. Family, we serve a God. I don't care how many policies you human man has right. Guess what? The one, the divine man has the power to come down and change the whole narrative. And but watch this, Virginia. I love it. He even will work through corrupt policies to make sure that they turn out in our favor. Yeah, I know this may like pastor. That's a whole like a whole mouthful, and that's like real converse. Yeah, yeah. That's why we have to trust the one who made the government. God's peace through Jesus Christ, watch this, you all, is the only place where all of these broken parts can ever be restored in a world, Dick and Nero, that is plagued by earthquakes. Cancer, coronavirus, wars, tornadoes, all sorts of things, even your own personal storm. Mm -hmm. He's coming to restore. Mm -hmm. um, he's saying, you looking, 
you looking at the storms, you you're looking at violence, and you looking at all, all these things. But he's saying that's why you're in despair because you're looking at something that's wired to do what it's doing. Yeah. So listen, watch this, y'all. This world will never be saved, but the people in it will be saved. Amen. Can I tell y'all something? Can I tell y'all something? Oh, I know. I know, Pastor, what you just said. Yeah, because watch this. The Bible tells us that this world is going to burn up in fire. That's right. So it will never be saved. But the people in it, we got to do our very best ah, to introduce them to Jesus so they won't burn up. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Family, Jesus is the only one. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready to shout? Y'all about to get behind y'all seats and rush this pulpit. I'm ready. Come on, run with y'all. <laughs> Jesus is the only one who can restore and make whole all that is broken in our lives and the in this world. Hallelujah. Amen. He's the one. Listen, you can't find it in the bottle. You can't find it in pills. You can't find it in the person. He's the one. And once he fixes you, you fix it. Amen. Yeah. Once he fixes it, it's Glory fixed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can I put this right here, y'all? Since I'm out here, I'll oh, stop getting these patch up jobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're just patch up jobs. You know, these side, these side, these side spiritual mechanics. Let me operate on. Let me go to YouTube University and see what I can find. No, no. You need God, boo. You need Jesus. Family, this is what broke my heart right here. Y'all ready? They missed seeing the Prince of Peace who was standing directly in front of them, willing to give them him who is peace. Oh, y'all, they, here they were. They were blind, y'all, to the path of peace. Can I tell y'all something? Um, the path of peace is paved with blood. Mm -hmm. mm. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, did it there, shed his blood so that we can have peace forevermore. Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, Family, yes, he did. That's Passion Week for us. Yeah. Passion Week is a bloody week. You understand? But that blood was necessary yes, for our naughtiness. I said something, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pastor, you showed up there. Yeah, that blood was necessary for our naughtiness. Man, Jesus was not acknowledged by them as the God of all gods and the King of kings. They oh. just saw him. As he come on the donkey, they got real sight. Think there, here come our king. Yep. And they looking at him. A few days later, this ain't our king. <laughs> um, you ain't turned over to Rome yet. What is you doing? Then now here comes uh, the attitude and the crucifixion. Now, family, here it is: the destruction of Jerusalem. Watch this. Digging there, the reason why Jerusalem was destroyed was because of their violence Uprise. and their uprising. Here's my third point for us Jesus wept due to their missed opportunity. Mm, Jesus wept due to their missed opportunity. 43 through 44. Here it is, family. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will throw up a barricade against you and surround you and hem you in on every side. And they will level you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave in you one stone upon another because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, we. Oh, oh, those verses right there, some ooh, we verses, y'all, right there. Ooh, we. The reason for the destruction of Jerusalem, Virginia, is simple. They did not know the time of the visitation. Family, the Messiah had come oh and they said no to this Messiah. We're still looking for one. I don't care what you're looking for. He already came once. He's coming back again. Here it is. 
the opportunity for peace had come then, but now the nation had opted, watch this, y'all, for destruction. Mm -hmm. sure oh, family, this destruction that they opted for will soon be devastating for them. Because now, family, um, some years later, Jesus' prophecy right here on Palm Sunday came to fruition because the Emperor Titus and all of the group of people came in and destroyed Jerusalem. Watch this, Virginia. The reason why Jerusalem was destroyed, redundancy has its reward, is because they were so violent that they participated, family, in the uprising. Yes, and burned down their own city because of their violence. Family, can I just be social justice again today? Um, we have to be careful. Um, we're living in a country who's more satisfied um, with violence than it is with peace. Yes, they are. And they wonder why these communities in our country is turning hell bent towards itself. Because nobody wants to step in and give some peace. Because watch this, Mr. Perkins. Peace don't make no money, but violence do. That's right. Come on. Oh. Family got to be very careful. Yeah. I know they, they, some, some, God bless those hearts of those preachers and pastors who say you're not supposed to mix social justice and the Bible together. I don't know what Bible they read because both of them go together. They sure do. And Jesus is saying, listen, um, destruction is about to come because you missed your opportunity to turn your life around. And family, when people miss their opportunity to turn their life around, here it is, Malia, they will turn to violence because that's what they're wired for. But he's saying, Jesus is saying, this country... This city, if these people not careful, will come to ruin, mm -hmm. and they will tear it down with their own hands. <clears throat> Family, can I tell you something? These tears of Palm Sunday should teach us something. Uh, Lady Q, I hear you in my ear. Pastor, this, ooh, this is a heavy one today on Palm Sunday. We thought it was going to come in here with some palm branches and shot holes in and stuff. <laughs> um, this is something. Um, but, here it is. Um, what does this have to do with us? Virginia, I see you with your green bow. Um, let's wrap this up for Palm Sunday. Um, what does this have to do with us? Here it is, family. I read this quote by uh, the pastor O.S. Hawkins. He says this, a dry eye church is of no use to those who are hell bent to do their own thing. Mm -hmm. That's right. He's saying so many words, family, that we have to go back to, here it is with the lamenting. Okay. We have to go back to that place where we shed some tears. Um, it's more than, here it is, family, thoughts and prayers. Because that's the easy way out, Ernie. You're in my thoughts, and you're in my prayers, and that's where um, some of them you end up just in our thoughts, but not in our prayers. But we need to be like Jesus, see right through the hypocrisy, see right through the phoniness, and begin to shed tears because, watch this family, we don't want anybody to miss an opportunity to meet the Prince of Peace. Family lamenting and shedding tears will cause our hearts to remain tender towards those who have experienced tragedy in their lives. Will have us to really weep and mean it and go before God and lift them in prayer. Amen. So, family, before we celebrate, and yes, we celebrate Jesus coming, mm -hmm. but we need to remember his tears. Then watch this, you know, he came in crying. There's a crying this week, you understand? Well, but here, I leave you with this, family. This is the beginning of a beginning. 
It is. Yeah. Palm Sunday is the beginning of a beginning, Virginia. Um, because watch this, um, as Jesus comes in, he will begin a new life for, for all humanity. Amen. By giving his Amen. life That's right. for us. So family, yes, we want to celebrate. Yes, we got a long week ahead of us as we look and reflect on our Redeemer. Mm -hmm. But let us walk with tears. Let this be our proverbial trail of tears. Amen. Yeah. I'm crying, I'm weeping. Here it is, family. We are to weep. Just think about the fact that here it is. Jesus went to the cross, man, because of us. Yes, he did. It was yeah. our sins yes, Lord. that got our I Savior killed. Wow. That should make us weep. Uh-huh. And it should make us weep. Watch this. That you love me enough to take my debt and give me deliverance. Whoo. You love me yeah. enough to take my debt. Yeah. My debt. I did this. I'm the one committed all of this. Pay for it. You pay for it. Yeah. Can I shout y'all right here? You pay for it even before I did it. Hallelujah. You paid my debt before I knew it was a debt. You gave me deliverance before I knew I was delivered. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That should make us shed tears. Because who would do something like that for us, Malika? Take your what? I got enough debt on my own. <laughs> you want me to take all your debt? And that's what Jesus did. So family, as we remember this Palm Sunday, remember the tears of Palm Sunday. Amen. Our Lord and Savior, riding in on the donkey, Ernie, he's not, this is not no cute cry. It's one of them ugly cries. Y'all know them ugly, woo, them ugly. When you get some news, it just make you break all the way down. But he's doing this, family, for us. Amen. 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 Listen, family, let us remember and reflect the tears upon us. Amen. Amen. That's the word of God for the people. Amen. 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 Family, now is the time we want to extend um, the invitation to Christ and to discipleship. Amen. There may be someone in our midst who, one, do not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, and two, perhaps do not have a church home you would like um, for Sinai to be your church home. Listen, we would love to have you here and I would love to be your pastor. Amen. 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 If that is your, uh, if you want to make that decision today, come on. While you got breath in your body, amen. Blood running in your veins, amen. Come now, come now. We'd love to have you. We'd love to love on you. Amen. Amen. Is there one here today? Amen.